Day, a group of World War II veterans will travel from Lafayette to Washington, D.C. on a hero's flight, and I'll be there to share their stories back here at home. Tonight, we introduce you to a few of the veterans being honored. Mr. Boyer. Hey. David Taylor. Hey. With less than a week to go before this year's hero's flight. I know we have flight numbers. <laughs> these World War II veterans are ready to go. Among them. Joe Richard from Sunset, whose hat has the two words that forever changed his life. I was at Pearl Harbor when they bombed it. He was just 16 years old when he joined the Navy and was sent to Pearl Harbor, but was forced to quickly grow up. I had the worst job in the world. My job was to try and get them people out that was trapped. I heard of not till the day before Christmas on the Arizona. While Pearl Harbor launched America into World War II, Lafayette's George Schneider would see the end of it while serving in the U.S. Army. Fought in the European theater in all of the major campaigns from Normandy, northern France, the Rhinelands, and the, the Ardennes in Central Europe. 73 years after the end of the war, these Acadiana veterans still have a sense of camaraderie. Brookshire Grocery, the parent company of Super One Foods, has been sponsoring Heroes Flights for eight years at no cost to the veterans. To show them we hope the trip of a lifetime is a way to say thank you for what they did for us so many years ago. Going to spend two or three days in uh, Washington, see lots of different things, then come back Wednesday evening. We're looking forward to Monday. This Heroes Flight will feature their oldest veteran ever to make the trip. My company was Company B, a 24th Infantry. Melville's Wilson Robertson at 102 years old. What's your secret? My secret is serving God. <laughs> hey, hey, the man who, the man who take care of me and looking out for me. Veterans from different branches. I'm Bill Walker, uh, United States Air Force. I've stayed for the whole time from Europe, from the time started to time to till it was finished. All with different stories. I flew over Norway, Denmark, and France. But common traits, patriotism, pride, and service to a country they love, and now gratitude. And I want to say that this is very nice that these people are doing this for us. Everyone says, you deserve this. I say, we don't deserve a damn thing, but uh, we appreciate what people are doing for us. God bless them. Hey, hey, thank, thank them for thinking of us, you know. It makes you feel good when people think of you. And it's a busy itinerary. You can watch our exclusive reports from Washington, D.C. next week right here on KTC. And still